Hi everyone, so because the last kind of chit chat vlog style video um, was so well received and pretty much every single one of you said could I do more of those, I am going to do another one today. Um, it's Monday today, um, I'm not quite sure when this video will go up, it will probably go up tomorrow so it will be kind of a day delayed. I'm sat in front of the window which is why it's making me look super super pale and making my hair look like a lot darker than it is. It looks almost black doesn't it? I am really pale at the moment though, it's fake tan night tonight, don't worry. Um, and I haven't got any makeup on so I hope you don't mind that but I am... Um, Monday is usually my kind of at home catch up day, I don't work on a Monday and I like to kind of be at home, I like to just catch up on kind of all my email stuff, admin stuff, I like to kind of um, have a really big clean um, on a Monday as well, like I've got a completely clean house now, washed the floor, hoovered, washed the floors, done like two loads of washing, I've got everything kind of sorted. The house smells really clean and I just feel so much more relaxed and kind of at ease and ready for rest of the week when I've kind of got everything like got, got my shit together basically um so yeah but I also kind of if I'm not going out I like to just be at home and have no makeup on and I'm wearing a kind of um just loungewear kind of sweatshirt from Primark that says Wi-Fi pizza chill I think lounge um, yeah, with matching bottoms and my Wonder Woman socks and I'm just sat here chilling. I'm not even wearing a proper bra, I'm wearing like a sports bra because if I'm not going out, um, I like to wear those because, you know, wearing a normal bra isn't very comfy. So, that's what I do. But, I thought I'd show you a couple of bits, um, because the post just arrived and I'd already opened everything and then thought, oh, you could have done that. But basically, it's kind of like a blogger mail type of thing. I do get sent, sam get sent samples. We know this. If you watch kind of any of my main beauty videos, I always mark them in the down bar. It's not a secret. It's not something that kind of I think is a big deal either. Um, but um, quite a big one arrived today. So I thought I'd show you. And there's some Yankee, some Clarins, some Clinique. All brands I work with quite regularly anyway, actually. Um, and I thought I'd just kind of show you what I've got in here. Here. I haven't actually looked through everything, I just kind of got it out of the packaging. But Clinique sent me some of their new lipsticks and these are from the Matte Pop range I believe. Um, so there's kind of this really cute colour which is called Cute Pop which is a nice kind of nudie berry colour. And I've been struggling with kind of lip colours lately. Um, I think because it, it's feeling like autumn but I'm not ready for the berry tones yet. Um, this one is Bold Pop which looks gorgeous, look at that. Nothing like a new lipstick, just so pretty. Um, then this one here is called uh, 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 Pow Pop. Really pretty kind of berry purpley colour. And then there's one here which is quite adventurous and I don't think I would wear this colour, but it is um, Clove Pop. I could try, but I just think that it'll make my teeth look so yellow. I don't know, not feeling that, but I'm looking forward to trying those because I like the Clinique Pop lipsticks anyway. And the texture of these here is matte, which kind of fits the range, which I quite like. Um, then from Yankee, oh, this is a really annoying thing that happened. <laughs> they sent me some of their new kind of autumn um, fragrances. The one that's my absolute favourite broke in the post. I put a piece of cell tape on it. I know this isn't a permanent solution, but I just put it on there because I felt like um, I don't want to lose a piece of glass, but can I put super glue on it? It's got another chip in it. Won't when I start to burn it because it is kind of gone a little bit further down. It'll come out, or will it melt with glue? Or what can I do? I don't want to like take the wax out completely, but basically it's this one called Ebony Oak. It smells so nice, um, but yeah, that one broke. The other ones were all okay. The other ones we have got are Honey Clementine. I really like that word, Clementine. My, um, <laughs> I know somebody whose little girl's obsessed with fairies and her fairy name's Clementine, so that's what it always reminds me of. It's really nice, nice kind of orangey scent. Um, but you can definitely smell the honey in there, which is quite nice because it's in quite an authentic honey way, if you like that, not like that kind of really fake honey smell. Um, this one <coughs> is, root. sorry, I've still got a little bit of a cough. Rhubarb Crumble. This one's nice, but I don't know. I'm not massively fan, a fan of like baked goods in candle scent type of thing. And this one is Autumn Night. 
this is nice nice and fresh um so that's from yankee and then let's finish obviously like you know i'm not showing off that's not what this is about i've just kind of i've seen people do it and people seem to quite like it this is one of the clarins um instant lip comfort oils i like these i use um the pink one at night it's really nice and moisturizing my lips have been so dry since it's gotten a bit colder i'm wearing the lana lips rhubarb um one today Speaking of which, I've been obsessed with facial oils recently, as you'll see in a minute as well. And um, from Clarins, I also got the Santal Face Treatment Oil. I think I've used the Lotus one, which is the one for oily skin before. But I did, um, the lovely girl at Clarins, um, who I talk to kind of quite frequently, suggested this one because I said my skin had been a bit dehydrated. So I'm looking forward to trying that. I'm so into facial oil at the moment. And touch wood, I think my skin's been being quite good lately. I mean, I've got no makeup on right now. Apart from my horrible pigmentation mark, which you can see, and a little bit of redness in the other pigmentation, it's not too bad. So I'm quite pleased about that. Um, then, oh, these are cool. Um, I have been, re because my skin's been better, I've been really into kind of different um, base products and I'm liking things that are a lot kind of sheerer and more kind of natural. So these are the Clarins Skin um, BB Skin Detox Fluid in the shade light and the shade medium because she wasn't sure which one I'd be. I'm going to say a guess that I'm going to be the shade light. Really like the packaging of it, it's really nice because they're really dark, which is kind of strange. I mean, I'll put a little pom pom back in my hand here. That's the light shade. I think that's really dark. Um, I mean, I've blended it in now, but. I'm going to have a play with that tomorrow and wear it and see how I feel about it. But I'd already decided that um, for my birthday, which is in a couple of, uh, a few weeks, I am going to treat myself and buy the Chanel um, Le Beige Tinted Moisturiser because I really like the few samples of that I've tried. But I'm not sure if the samples I tried were the Tinted Moisturiser moisturizer or the foundation. So I might have a look on eBay and try and buy some samples before I commit to that because it's like £34. But that's going to be my gift from me to me. Um, so yeah, those BB creams. And then I've also got the Hand and Nail Treatment Hand Cream, which is a kind of iconic Clarins product. Um, really nice, and I do get really dry kind of nails um, in the winter time. And this I haven't tried. It's the Moisture Rich Body Lotion, Sheer Butter. I haven't tried this at all. Um, I, haven't, I, I really like the Clarins Body Treatment Oil, so I've always used those. So I'm looking forward to trying this. Just looks like that. Um, oh, it's sealed. That was silly, I thought it wasn't. Um, so that's, yeah, that's kind of the blogger meal that we've got. I took it out of the packaging because I thought there was no point in me rustling around and trying to like, not show you the address and everything. Um, so that's everything there. And then I did pop into town on Friday and I picked up a couple of bits. Some from Primark and a couple of bits from Boots as well. Because I wanted to get a little bit more, um, I just wanted to change up my skincare a little bit. And be a bit more kind of prepared for autumn type of thing. Um, so I bought a couple of bits in here. I'm not going to show you anything. The things that are in here are like boring bits like underwear and stuff. I did buy these boots from Primark which I wanted to show you. Because um, they probably wouldn't make it into a video. Unless I do an outfit video which let's face it is not... Um, not likely considering how I look these days but um, these are £12 in there at the moment and I've got a bit of a thing with ankle boots I'm really really picky with black ankle boots I've probably got about five or six different pairs um, and there's always something wrong with them or they're not comfy enough or I've worn them too much or the hardware annoys me I don't know but I just saw these and I thought they were a really nice shape they weren't too high they weren't too low they looked kind of small I like suede because I like how it kind of isn't um, like when you wear leather and then you wear tights and it makes the shoes more noticeable I told you I'm really picky about it and they felt really comfortable they were £12 and I bought them in a size 5 and um, yeah I really like those really looking forward to wearing them and I think if they're particularly comfy and I really like them, you know what Primark's like with their stock rotation. Maybe I'll go and buy another pair if I think they're comfy. Um, and then what else do I have in here? Oh, I bought a pair of their cosy tights because they're my fave. Um, let me bring the bag over here, which would be easier. Uh, I bought this from L'Oreal, which is the L'Oreal Skin Perfection Perk Up Day Cream. I used this 
all up last winter and I loved it. It's got SPF 20. It's very similar to the Origins Vita thing. It's got a little bit of a tint and it just perks everything up and makes your skin look really healthy and nice. And it's a really kind of nice um, thing in the winter when your skin's looking a bit sallow. Bear with me one second. about that little um, um, really disturbing phone call. I um, I'm, We're having a bit of a like family dynamics organisational situation. Um, <laughs> regarding plans for the next weekend and it's becoming very complicated um, and I'm being a peacemaker and trying to negotiate between people so yes um, what else do we have oh, this I picked this up because I used to use this when it first became kind of YouTube famous and I really liked it and I fancy trying it again I know they've rechanged reformulated it but I thought I'd still give it a go and it's the Boots, Boots Botanic cleansing balm I've used this twice now and I really like it, however it does kind of leave a film on your skin so if you're not keen on that you might not like it because of that but I've used it twice, I couldn't wait um, and I wasn't going to do a haul, like a proper haul because I didn't think there was enough to show you really although looking at it now the privilege is um, I bought this conditioner from Farmers because the repair and conditioner, you know I love the treatment from this range and I just fancied the conditioner, it smells amazing coconut, it's just like one of my favourite smells and it lingers in your hair as well, which is nice. Um, then I did buy, if I could grab it and that would be good. I bought some of the essence blotting papers because I was pretty much dying without them. But I also bought this facial oil and it's Boots Botanic Organic Facial Oil. Um, this has got, I want to say, sweet almond oil. Mm. I thought it had like vegetable oils in it, but this is really nice. I've used this um, twice as well, and I really liked it. I used it like on my skin last night. When I woke up this morning, I felt like everything looked really nice. Um, but I'm kind of working on a video about facial oil, so that was why. I also picked up this nail polish from TK Maxx um, from OPI, and it's called Oh, oh My Majesty, and it's like a kind of shimmery, pale, lilac-y grey. I don't know, I just thought it was nice. I always like the nail polishes in TK Maxx, but um, Essie always really bums me out in TK Maxx because they are the old formula with the skinny brush, which I hate, and I always get really excited, and then I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm not going to like that. I did buy these two lip um, thingies from Bourgeois because I, like I said, I've been a bit bored with lip colours and I just fancied something different. I bought Ole Flamingo because I've been really, really into bright pinks lately, like it's just been my thing. And um, I just thought I'd just give this one a go because I haven't tried this colour and I thought it would look beautiful and it was really nice and autumnal. Swatch it here for you. That colour there. That's so pretty. Um, and I also bought this one from the um, Souffle de Velvet range. I've got three of these now and I really like this range too. And this is in the shade 08, which is Caramelly Mellow, which is a cute name as well. Why do I have a horrible feeling that this was a tester? Ew, this one is all pristine and nice and this one is a bit messy. I have to like sanitize that down. I hate how boots do that. Um, but it's a nice kind of nudey orangey colour. Can you see there? Um, but yeah, I really like the formula of those. I just like I think they kind of wear nicely on the lips as well. Um, and then uh, I think I've only got one more thing in there actually. Oh yeah, I bought this um, Boots Botanics. They're having some sort of promotion, obviously, was why I bought three of them. Um, the Rose Water Toner. I really like this, especially in the winter, because my skin can get, can get a bit red, and I find it calms it down, makes everything look a little bit more um, kind of even in tone. So yeah, that is everything that I picked up. Um, I It was kind of like a weird vloggy haul situation, wasn't it? A bit of a weird video. Um, but I just, I thought you said, you know, you like these, so I thought I'd do them a bit more often. Um, and what else did I want to talk to you about? I watched the, um, new, well, the, like, remake version of Ghostbusters the other week, um, with Melissa McCarthy and Kirsten Wigg. Really, really good. 
and I, before we put it on, I said to my boyfriend, like, you're not allowed to moan about this because he really liked the old one. And I was like, you're not allowed to moan and say, oh, it's not funny because they're women and blah, blah, blah. And he was like, no, no, I won't. We put it on and when it finished, he was like, I don't know why that got bad reviews. That was a really good film. I really enjoyed that. It was really funny, really good. Um, so, yeah, I'd recommend that. True Blood I'm still on the fence about. And somebody commented on a video the other day and said, if you're not enjoying it in the first season, it just gets worse. Be warned. Um, so yeah, that's that. Haven't got any nail polish on. I took my nail polish off earlier, um, and I'm gonna kind of sort my cuticles out and put some hand cream on and everything because my hands need a little bit of TLC. Um, I had a bit of that this morning as well. I kind of threaded and um, tweezed my eyebrows. I had a bikini wax, which is TMI, but whatever. Um, so yeah, I'm nicely groomed now, and then later on I'll have a shower, put some fake tan on, and do my nails. Maybe I'll use this one. Ooh, shall I use that colour? It's pretty, isn't it? Yeah, I'll probably put my nails with that later on. But um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little vlog type of chit chat video. I feel really like casual and comfy sitting here talking to others. It's really nice. Um, but yeah. I am going to go and reply to some emails now that I have had waiting for me since this morning that I haven't kind of got around to replying to and I am also going to make myself a nice cup of green tea because it's a bit chilly. I've got the window open because I like the fresh air but it's actually a bit cold to have the window open. So that's, um, yeah, that's that. Oh, i tell you what, one more thing I did buy. This is quite random. Um, I'm not, this is, this is going to sound really strange, but I'm not somebody who's massively fussed about jewellery. Um, in a sense, if I'm not fussed about jewellery being real, like real silver and that, if it's like earrings and things, or necklaces even, because I don't leave anything, that's really annoying, oh, whatever. Um, I don't leave my jewellery on, like I don't shower with jewellery, I don't leave earrings on, as soon as I come in I take it off, so I don't mind it being costume jewellery. And H&M always have such lovely jewellery in their jewellery section, um, and I always really like everything. And I saw these, and I just thought they were so pretty, so I bought them. And they're just these like little Diamante studs in various shapes, they were one ninety nine. Um, but I always find the back falls off with these, they've got one of those stupid like plastic backs that never stays on, and I'm like, would it kill you to put a butterfly on? I know it's probably a price related thing, but whatever. Um, but yeah, it always falls off, and I find that really irritating. Maybe if I put the whole, but then it'd stick out loads. Mind you, it doesn't stick out that much. I don't know. They're really pretty though. Even the tiny ones are just really sparkly and lovely, and I like it. I feel like when you've got dark hair as well, they look pretty because they kind of stand, stand out. Um, but yeah, make sure, shall I like just put normal backs on them? Where could you buy like just a load of backs for earrings? Probably eBay. I'll go and have a look on eBay actually. That's probably a wise um, thing. I'm going to go now because I'm just rambling. I've not had any human interaction today other than that phone call. So um, I need to, yeah, I need to leave you alone. But I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I will do more of these if you like them. Um, it's just me chilling, chatting to you, not anything interesting remotely because nothing interesting ever happens to me really. Um, but I will see you all in my next video, which I pre-recorded this week because I've got a really busy week. I'll be back to filming normally next week. Bye!